if you're watching this, you're probably still not convinced that resistance bands are good for building muscle. I'm here to explain exactly how you can build muscle only using resistance bands. So if your goal is to get stronger, if your goal is to get in shape, if your goal is to look more attractive and fit, make sure you watch this video till the end because that is exactly what I'm gonna show you how to do. But first, my name is Discipline Dave, where I put the technique in your physique. This channel is dedicated to getting you fit at home with resistance bands and other home fitness equipment. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell for weekly workouts. Now, to answer the question, are resistance bands good for building muscle? The short answer is yes. But let me give you these reasons why. I develop a list of seven reasons why resistance bands are good for building muscle. Reason number one, you're gonna have a better contraction with resistance bands. What you're gonna find out with resistance bands is that you're gonna get a better contraction than you will a lot of times with weights. Because with the weights, you're gonna notice that in many exercises, the difficult portion of the exercise is at the bottom end of the exercise. But as you go towards the top, or as you elevate, and a lot of times the exercise gets easier. But because bands have an opposite force pulling you, it's gonna force you to have a better contraction when you're working out with resistance bands. Reason number two it's gonna develop a better stretch. When it comes to developing a muscle, what develops a muscle is a contraction and a stretch. And if we can maximize those two, you're gonna get better results faster. And that's the thing with resistance bands. You're gonna notice a lot of times, let's say if you're using a bicep curl with the bar, the bar is gonna come straight down and that way, the bar prevents it from going behind the body of your arms. So you gotta stretch there into your arms, but you don't have a full stretch. And when I say a full stretch, what really works with a better stretch with resistance bands is that you can go behind the body. So you're getting even further of a stretch. So with that further of a stretch, when you come up with that tight contraction that we just talked about previously, you're gonna get a better development. By that, I mean by you're gonna have more muscle fibers tearing and more muscle fibers tearing because you got that stretch and that contraction. Let me give you an example, kind of like a rubber band. When you stretch a rubber band, you can see all these little cracks and crevices in them. And that is a good representation of how your muscle fibers are going to stretch. And those are gonna get all those little micro tears. And when you bring the band in together, it fills in those gaps and that's gonna be your recovery system. So that's why bands are better because you can get a really good stretch to really get all those extra muscle fiber tears. Now, number three is going to be, and this is very important, is hitting the super like button. Now, hitting the super like button, it supports the creator of the channel, and it also helps support the video so I can make more content out there showing you how to use resistance bands. So if you wanna know how to take it to the next level and you wanna support the channel, just go ahead and hit the super like button. Now let's get to the real reasons. The fourth reason why resistance bands are gonna be good for building muscle is that resistance bands go against gravity. You're gonna have an opposite force pulling you down. You're going against gravity. Gravity wants to pull you down, but you're gonna say, no, I want my muscles to grow, and you're gonna go against that gravity, and it's gonna get tougher and tougher as that band is pulling you, and that is perfect for building muscle, and that's exactly what we want. This is why resistance bands are gonna be great for building muscle. Number five, with resistance bands, you can hit muscles at different angles. Now, one thing you're gonna notice about different bodies are they're gonna vary based on height, your genetics are gonna be different uh, based on just, based on your parents and your ancestors. So with that, there really isn't a one size fits all workout. You're gonna have to tailor your workouts so they can match your body type. So you're gonna have different heights and variations. So with that said, resistance bands, you can really adjust different angles. You can hit your biceps at the top with some elevated curls. You can hit them at the bottom. You can hit your chest on your upper chest and your mid, and you can use the same tool to do that. Now you can do that with weights, but you need a different tool for each one. And also, you normally have to go to the gym because it's expensive versus resistance bands. They don't really cost that much, and then you're gonna be able to use them anywhere. 
So that's a great thing about resistance bands is that you have so much variety at different angles that hit different muscles. And those are all gonna matter to really give you that aesthetic and that look that you're looking for when it comes to working out with resistance bands. Number six, here's a hint. My whole channel, the model is putting your technique in your physique. So take a guess of what this is. All right, we waited long enough. Resistance bands are gonna force you to have good form when you work out. It took me a long time to realize this point. Form is everything when it comes to building muscle. And when it comes to form, you can tell somebody a lot of things, or you can show them how to do it, or they can use resistance bands because that's gonna force you to have good form. Now there's a lot of exercises out there when it comes to weights, you can cheat yourself into thinking that you're doing it right or you have a lot of strength. I don't know how many people I see out there with big bellies who can pump up a lot of plates of weight, but are they really using their chest when it comes to lifting that weight for the bench press? What you see a lot of times is in these bench presses or people are pushing off their shoulders and not their chest there. They're using those tendons, which can support a lot of weight, but over time it will cause injuries in their shoulders because they're not really using their chest to lift it up. They figured out a way to modify their body, adjust uh, with all this imbalance here able to push off of those tendons of the shoulders. And we don't want that. We wanna develop our chest. We want a nice chiseled chest. Well, with resistance bands, when you're doing something like a cable fly, it's gonna force you to have that correct form and have your chest come out with a complete stretch. And when you're coming through with your hands, they come closer and they go ahead and contract. When it comes to doing something like those bicep curls, it's very easy to rock your body up with the momentum, using that gravity in your favor and hoist up this heavy weight. But try to hoist up some strong resistance cables. Try to hoist up some strong resistance bands. See how that's gonna work out for you. Those resistance bands are gonna make you respect them. So what you're gonna have to do is stay in a stationary position, which you should be doing already with weights, and then you're gonna to have to actually only use your bicep to come up. That's the difference when it comes to resistance bands. Your form is gonna to have to be in check to get results. It's gonna force you, it's gonna make you be humble. And that's what a lot of people don't like about resistance bands. It makes you feel like you just started. With weights, you can take a lot of time off and hoist some weights up and look really strong. Well, I guess when it comes to the plates and stuff, but physically you're not gonna look strong. But with resistance bands, what it's gonna do, it's gonna give you actual strength. When it comes to that ego there, and you're trying to impress somebody, it's not gonna look as impressive, but once you're done with the gym and you walk out on the beach, you're gonna look super impressive. So that's the great thing about resistance bands, and that's why it's one of the most effective ways of developing muscle is because of the form aspect of it. I have a bunch of videos on my channel where I'm showing you how to do proper form and technique with the exercises. And the reason why I developed this channel is because I've learned that technique and form is everything. So make sure you check out those videos. And this is also the reason why you should be working with resistance bands is because it will force you to have great form. And with that great form, which brings us to number seven, you can take them anywhere. If you've been following me on Instagram, you will see that recently I celebrated a birthday in Amsterdam. And when I got to our hotel, they did not have a gym. But luckily, I have my resistance bands. I took these Undersun fitness bands with me when I was out there in the canals and stuff. Actually, it's a great bag. That's the main reason why I brought the bag with me. But I was working out in the hotel room. And so there's a lot of times where people develop these excuses or sometimes it's legitimate. Like our hotel legitimately did not have a hotel. But the bands you can always take with you. They're lightweight, they're easy to pack, and they're easy to use. And if you don't know how to use them, I've got a bunch of workout videos that's gonna show you how. But the convenience of resistance bands is reason number seven, why I think this is so good for building muscle because you don't have an excuse. But at the gym, it could close down. It could be a holiday. But with resistance bands, they're never closed. It's always open. So go ahead and make sure you're using resistance bands. So now that I convince you that resistance bands are good for building muscle, now it's time to check out some good quality bands. So if you're looking to purchase some bands, if you're in the market, I made a great video of all the top bands that I've used. Go ahead and check out that video. And if you already have resistance bands and you've just been motivated to work out, 
go ahead and check out this playlist next of all the workouts in this series only using resistance bands.